Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Wynn Saldani. This is the afternoon update for July 23rd. Uh, all of the fleets have started now, and uh, in the big picture, uh, honestly, a lot of the cruising fleet is in the same situation they were earlier this morning. Uh, a couple of the leaders, as I mentioned on Facebook and in tweets, have uh, put on a little more speed, and I'll explain why I think that is uh, in a few minutes here. Um, found some breeze and are, have uh, opened up a little bit of a gap here. Um, versus the remainder of the fleet. You'll see the speeds are closer to five knots in this group here. And then back here, where we have uh, the bulk of the cruising fleet, we're seeing speeds uh, at under a knot. And again, I'll explain in a moment what I think is going on there. Uh, compare and contrast that to the uh, racing fleet. Let me just zoom in on them a little bit and let it redraw real quick. So here's the racing fleet off of the line. Uh, we update about every 15 minutes, so we should be due for an update in a second here. Um, the you know we're seeing speeds let's call it six knots these are some of the slower boats that started first 6.9 knots 7.3 knots 7.2 knots now what's going on here is uh the wind is out of the east uh at about eight knots at the crib which is you know near our starting area here and we've got boats kind of doing two different things uh, it looks to me like we've got some boats keeping their jibs up or their code zeros up. A code zero is a special sail that uh, is really good in lighter winds for sort of when you're just off of the wind a little bit. So you're not trying to go directly into it, but off of it a little bit. Um, and some boats are just putting up their spinnakers, and those are the big balloon sails, you know, they're big colorful sails. And when you do that, when you put a spinnaker up, you can't go towards this easterly wind, you kind of have to go across, the wind has to come across the boat. And that's why we're seeing a lot of boats going this way. They have higher boat speeds, right? Um, but they have, uh, they're, they're uh, giving up distance. So the farther they're getting away from this rum line, right, the more the later on they've got to make their way back over towards the rum line to get, you know, get, get to the course. Eventually you've got to cross the rum line, right? You've got, you've got to go to where the race is going. So uh, that's the, the choice that's being made right now. Um, I think that prob probably the thinking in a lot of these boats is, hey, I think it's going to be land breezes. I think it's going to be lake breezes uh, dominating for the first maybe 18 hours or so of this race. I'm going to stay closer to the shore um, and I'm going to get north as fast as I can with my spinnaker up uh, so that I can be in those land breezes for as long as possible. So that's the big picture of the race. There's a lot of meteorology going on here, though, and uh, I want to talk about a couple of a couple of things that are going on. First is, uh, let's just look at this. It's redrawing right now. The radar is coming back in, but the, the reason that the cruisers are going really, really slowly is here's the Mid Lake Boy, um, and I've been talking about it on Twitter and on Facebook a little bit. Right now, you can see it's east southeast at two gusting to two miles an hour. That's the number at the bottom of the box there where it says wind. 1.9 knots is what it's reading. I just checked it before I started this post. Um, and that's why we've got this, you know, big group of boats in the cruising fleet sitting kind of right here, barely moving because there's not a lot of wind in the center of the lake. Um, now, so if we've got kind of like a, a dead zone in the center of the lake, what I think has happened is we've got those couple of leaders who are right here. And if you look along the lake shore, as we talked about yesterday, we've had a lake breeze develop also sort of on the west shore of the lake. That's a uh, big sable point right there. Here's Point Betsy. I think it's actually Ludington. Um, and so these guys who got a little bit closer to the shore and got out of this dead zone in the middle of the lake are avoiding this one or two knot wind uh, in the middle of the lake. And uh, it's not, you know, again, it's not 20 knots of breeze or anything like that, but they're moving a little bit more. Um, again, over here, it's not reading very well. You can see in the shoreline observation that we have lake breezes going on here and here. But the other thing that I uh, want to point out for everyone is that, and I posted about this too, we're starting to see some showers and thunderstorms sort of beginning to encroach um, on the race course. And in fact, right over here, I'm going to circle this little guy right here. We have an observation out in sort of Midwestern Wisconsin of a Northwest wind at 15 knots ish with gusts to 24 and a thunderstorm that went by a little bit earlier, not severe by any stretch of the imagination, but um, certainly some action that we're going to have to watch. Uh, the, the storm prediction center um, in Oklahoma actually issued what's called a mesoscale discussion, um, which says kind of, Hey, we're watching this area and we could have, could have some severe wind gusts, nothing widespread, they don't think, but they could have some se severe wind gusts. And I urge you to go ahead and uh, and uh, take a look at the SPC if you uh, if you want more information on that in the official forecast. Uh, just 
in terms of that, this uh, local radar gives it kind of a better view of what's going on um, in southern Wisconsin here. And, you know, to, to my relatively untrained eye, you know, you know the, the dark reds back here were the ones that that's where we had, uh, I think, that big gust or the bigger gust come out of. And I, I think the local NWS even warned about that, if I can see from the yellow box right there. Yeah, there's, there was a severe thunderstorm warning. But the uh, reflectivity is fading, suggesting that these storms are losing a little bit of their oomph. Meanwhile, we've got another cell kind of right, right, right south of Janesville, Wisconsin. Um, that's popping up. And this is all kind of marching steadily to the east. I'm really not sure. Uh, how much of the fleet is going to be far enough north, the racing fleet is going to be far enough north to catch this if it doesn't develop any further south. I do think that, you know, we're talking about the cruising fleet getting wet here. Uh, again, right now, nothing severe looking, but they get wet. Maybe there'll be a little wind in it and they might take that um, at this point. So, uh, you know, it's not fun being wet in a sailboat race, but it's probably less fun being stopped in a sailboat race. So back to the tracker. That's the situation as it stands right now. Um, the race is off. We're going to be uh, talking about things on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere else. Please continue with the excellent questions you guys have been asking. Um, I really enjoy answering them, answering them and uh, look forward to being in touch as the race wears on. Thanks.